Is it going? I hope so. Oh, it is. Hey, you guys. Um, the lights had just gone out at my great grandmother's house, so I'm back at home, and I thought today I would do a room tour. So, yeah. Um, hold on one second. I am working with my other cell phone. I just got it back. My friend had it for like two or three weeks, and so like, get back used to it. <laughs> Okay, so this is my bed. Oh, yeah, I'm doing a room tour. This is what I'm doing. Um, this is before I move. Kind of want to show you guys how I've been living. Um, it's been very, very humble for the past, I think, two years now. But um, this is something I'm, I'm packing up, so I'm going through my old things. This is something that I did in 2011, and I created a comic book character. His name's Chad. <laughs> okay. Um my husband stuff I actually drew this picture same year or same time I wrote this and drew that so like I think I just like manifested my husband this was fan art when um they they can't they canceled Google plus so uh, you won't be able to go see it but we used to run a few Google plus groups and we had a lot of people it was pretty fun and a fan drew us that it was it was great so um this is his graduation picture. He went to Kip, and he was part of the first high school graduating class there in 2015. Um, some more art. Uh, yeah, I used to draw a lot. I'm getting back into it, but not as much as I'd like to. Honestly, I'm just busy. Um, this is Gunter. Uh, that's Finn, and that's Jake, and I have Rigby over here. I actually, like, it's the fact that <laughs> there's me making sure that I know how to use my phone correctly. Um, I am pretty excited that Adventure Time is back on the air because I drew this a long time ago. I was doing voice acting and I really wanted to be on the show. So I made this comic strip. Oh my god, okay. And this is one of my characters and with this stuff. Okay, this is my dragon, Draga. Um, she's my pet, and I'll show you my character in a minute. Uh, that's my character. This is my little sister back when she was a child. Uh, she's 13 now, so she no longer looks like that. And this is my sister before she, like, hit puberty puberty. Um, she like a whole snack. She was a little chub chubs back in the day, but like she a whole snack now. Like when you when you think of like the stereotypical plus size girl that uh like gets praised and stuff, like that's her. Chunky and curvy, like girl. Okay. Now this is my comic strip. Okay, uh Hey, come on, Jake. We need to make it to Marcy's by Whoa! And then you see he's a teenager, because he always does this with teenage girls. And then it's all of us just walking. We're just walking. Man, Jake, who are they? They look like they're from Princess Muscle's kingdom. I don't know, but you seem to like the tall one in the middle. And then Jake blushes. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that was a little comic strip. It'd be great if I could actually do some sort of collaboration with Adventure Time. I freaking love Jeremy Shada. Like, I was the biggest Jeremy Shada fan when, um, Adventure Time was still on air. And then I just kind of stopped being a fan when the show ended. I was like, I just don't know how I feel about you no more, Jeremy. <laughs> like, this is like, it sounds so bad. But I left my freaking tripod. God, but I know this sounds bad, but I mean, just how I was feeling. But the show's back on, so I might like look at. And also, I don't think I've been updated on what he's doing. He's been on a lot of Nickelodeon shows and Cartoon Network shows, not Nickelodeon. But um, was it Nickelodeon? I don't know. But you know, I just haven't been keeping up with him. I used to follow him on Instagram. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's my other account. I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, with hi. I'm Ellie. Welcome to my life. It just got interesting. <laughs> so, it's been, like, so much stuff to happen. I am going to be 22 years old. I think, like, in my entire 21 years of life, I needed to just have 21 years of life. 
like live I live so many different lifestyles to the point that I feel like I've lived a bunch of lifetimes and it's been a crazy ride some of you have been here the whole way some of you have been here like some of the way some of you ain't been here no way but you're seeing this video hi how are ya um it everything's about to change I don't know what's happening I just know that something's going on It's just gonna be like boom I don't know because it's weird when I was younger I thought that the type of life that I know I'm going to be living now was just so normal then I got a new normal I don't know like something happened where my version of normal got altered and I was like okay I think it was when I got married and had my son because up until that point I was just kind of living like a regular 20 year old life um I just graduated high school moved into an apartment with my boyfriend and then boom kid so after that we had moved back in with my parents the first time and then we moved out got our house got our cars started our business business failed had to move back in with my parents and now we're here. <laughs> so, I lived a little bit. Learned a lot of stuff. Learned about people a lot. Um, I mean, like, honestly, fuck people sometimes, you know? It's like, they just do bad stuff to you for no reason. And they see you going through it. Like, they see you going through. And they still just keep doing bad stuff. That's insane to me. But, uh, yeah, that was my room tour. I don't know how we got here. I think because I got lazy and sat down. Let me show you some more on my wall before we go. Um, let me see. This, this started out as my vision board. So, um, I had those four up there for a very long time. And I had the side pictures, um, there for a, a little while. Just some equipment I want to get. Right now, I'm just use, still using my phone and my dad's little tripod for filming and stuff, so, yeah. Um, that's a letter that I wrote to Comcast about being one of their favorite customers. Yay. Can you please sponsor me, Comcast? Um, <laughs> and this is my resume, actually. That's my resume. And those are some doodles. That's um, Gwen Stacy. And Megara, 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 I think that's how you say it. That's my old food stamp card and my old FedEx ID badge. Um, that is my Mary Kay sign. Oh my god, my toe. Okay, those are some inspirational words by Mary Kay. Um, yay. My little thingy. I, I need to take that down. It's not spooky time anymore. I'm sad. But it's okay, but I, I do need to take it down because I want to get rid of the spooky tight feel. I'll keep the family thing up because it says family, but yeah. This is my plant. I haven't been here in a few days, so it's a little dead looking. I need to water him. Uh, he's a him, even though he's in a kissy face container pot. You know, he's still a him. Clear proof acne system set. I left it at my great grandma's house, so yeah, my face gonna be oily in a mug. Um, this is my dirty desk. Uh, I did not organize it before I left, but here you go. Dirty desk. Um, what are the contents of it? It's my phone. It's my jewelry. My sketchbooks and notebooks. Oh, this is great. Okay. So this is, I got this, um, the day after my birthday uh 2013 fashion designer youtuber singer actress and more so those are my core career paths and so once i started doing like the social media thing it's not just youtube anymore it's just influencer i just have to put entertainer i like i had to besides fashion designer i just had to put entertainer for all those things um this is my cover thing it says 
I might just do whatever in here. Draw, sketch, write, design, and more. I might add more to this intro later. I might sketch, scratch down ideas for my fashion designs or cartoons. I might even write some notes on song lyrics, poems, or my YouTube show. Okay. Good job. <laughs> I guess like 2020 will be me just like completing a few of the goals I started. Um, 2013, December 23rd. Hey, it's Ellie. Today I wasn't supposed to open my gift yet. Usually we open a gift on Christmas Eve. Eh, 30 minutes. Close enough. My birthday was yesterday, so I guess this counts. LOL. KK. Bye. Colon. Close parentheses. Less than three. Peace. Goodbye. 2013. Hello. 2014. So. Yay. This was when I first got together with my boyfriend at the time and I was practicing my marriage signature. That's how I used to dress and how I still do kind of dress. My, I aspire to dress like a hobo man, um, but still be cute with it. That's first design for Draga. So, this is what I ended up doing though. I think that's Draga or something else. Might have been, I don't know, I was trying to draw a dinosaur or dragon of some sort. This is what I, all I want to get from my garden. This is like how you take care of them and stuff. Dudes have black books with girls' phone numbers in them. I have black books with magic in them. Okay, so that's that. my sketchbook tiara la this is one of the designs um that i want to make it's like an athletic like it, it looks athletic but you can just wear it it's kind of like how lola bunny was dressed in uh, space jam but you can just like wear it without playing basketball that type of thing oh, okay okay here we go here we go here we go uh i don't know what that means but it's 7.30 in this bitch. You know what it is. I hit, I hit it in the streets because I... Uh, okay, okay. I hit it in the streets. Got to take care of my biz. I'm crazy as a motherfucker. I don't play... Oh, don't play with my cash. Try to play with me. Yo, it's your market finna crash. Dang. Oh, bars. Okay, hold up. It's 7.30 in this bitch. Yeah, you know what it is. I hit it in the streets. Gotta take care of my biz. I'm crazy as a motherfucker. Don't play with my cash. Just try to play me. It's your market finna crash. Okay. 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 Um, If I was to, like, be, like, a pop singer or something, this is how I would dress. I just dress like a cheerleader. Because, like, I got tig ass biddies and I feel like I fit it. I wanted to cheerlead, but, you know, couldn't afford it. Okay, a lot of YouTubers are really just broke Disney kids and like they wanted to do all the things that they saw on TV. <laughs> uh, it was just too expensive. Have you ever had an audition with Disney? You gotta pay like $2,500 to like do certain stuff. Anyway, oh, if you read the book, Think and Grow Rich, like say this to yourself. Don't even read the book. Just just say this because I don't just ugh, no, freaking uh, you people don't read. Just read. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna say it out loud. Take say this every morning, or just play this every morning. Literally, I'll probably just like make a clip of me saying this, and then put it in the description box, and just set it as your alarm. Just say this every morning. Self confidence formula. First, I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, continuous action toward its attainment, and I here and now promise to render such action. Second, I realize that dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become, thereby creating in my mind a clear mental picture of that person. Third. I know through the principle of auto-suggestion, any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object back of attaining the object back of it. Therefore, I will devote ten minutes daily to demanding of myself the development of self confidence. Fourth, I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim in life and I will never stop trying until I have developed sufficient self confidence for attainment. Fifth, 
I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity. Because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them and in myself. Whew. Okay. I'm probably going to put this out on Motivation Monday. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Praise the Lord. Um, I hope that helped. My body feels different. For one thing, I'm tired. I have to sit on my tiptoes to read that. Um, but God is great. And also, screenshot this really, really quickly. Just screenshot this. Okay. Hope it's in a good focus for you. Um, screenshot it. And... Make sure you use it. I'll probably just like add that. Let me take another picture. I'll probably just like add that with the download and create a Google Five, a Google Five, a Google Drive for you guys to go to and just download those because like, yeah, let me take a picture of this too. And you guys screenshot it. Dang it, it's not focused. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's my room for the time being. It's also my office where I work, my home office. So yeah, really excited for 2020. Make sure you guys check in um, with, with like your family members and everybody important to you because life's short. You gotta enjoy it. Um, here's some inspiration and color vibes. Vibe check. <laughs>